Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up? This is Toby with Online Security, and we're back with another CERT Master Lab for Security Plus 701. In this lab, we're going to be going over man in the middle attacks, also known as on path attacks, all right? Also known as ad adversary in the middle attacks, right? With the 701, they're giving this attack a bunch of different names, right? It's going as adversary in the middle attack, man in the middle attack on path attacks right all synonymous phrases all right so what better way to learn about man in the middle attacks but to go through it let's go ahead and do that now we're gonna log well first of all we may not have to log into this box but we are going to log into this box because that is step number one so we're gonna log into cali you know how to log in you know the username you know the password let's get to it so the first thing we're gonna do when we get into cali is launch a tool called burp burp is one of my favorite tools right it's called burp suite right but some people call it burp all right we're going to open this up burp is it has a lot of different functions right what we're going to use it for in this class is to is as a proxy right with the man in the middle attack or the on path attack or the ad adversary attack you have your victim over here and we're going to somehow some way trick them into using our proxy right that's going to be burp and anything they do right let's say they go to olinesecurity.com we'll be able to capture all of their traffic on our proxy right we are the man in the middle we're capturing everything in the middle let's go ahead and accept this we're going to next and we're going to start burp Okay, we're going to start burp up now what we're going to do is set up the proxy we're going to set up the proxy to this ip address of 10.1.16.66 and we want it to listen on port 8080 so let's go to proxy tab right here proxy tab is right here go ahead and click on that we're going to go to options right options options is right here go ahead and click on that and we're going to add all right what we're going to do is add port 8080 to our IP address, to this specific address. Let's go ahead and select OK. All right, cool. We got both of these selected. All right, just so I don't run into any issues, I'm gonna deselect this one since they're both using port 8080. You shouldn't have any issues with that, but I want to play it safe and I'm gonna deselect it. All right, so we're gonna go back to the intercept tab. All right, we're gonna go back to the intercept tab. We're not gonna intercept anything here, right? We're gonna leave this off. Right. Usually you could intercept things and anything that is coming to the proxy, you have the choice of editing it. Right. We can look at the username and password. We can make some changes. We can edit the packets going back and forth. But we're going to stay on this tab right here for the browser. All right. We're going to stay on here for HTTP history. Anything that's coming through our proxy, we will be able to see it here. Right. This image that we drew out will make a lot more sense once we start seeing things here. Whatever the victim does here. We'll see it in burp, which is going to show up here on our screen. All right, sweet. <clears throat> now let's open up our terminal. We're going to use them. Okay, we're going to create a new proxy batch script and we're going to store it in our website directory. So we're going to store it here in this directory and it's going to be called newproxy.bat. So we're creating a file called newproxy.bat and we're telling them where to put that file under var www.html. That is our website directory. So we're gonna type I, so we can start typing things in and we are going to go ahead and type out what they have here. Make sure you type it properly. I'm over here saying make sure you type it properly and I may be the one to mess it up. All right, dash path, HK, whoops, HKCU. There's no spaces here between these that I'm typing out right now, software. Microsoft, Windows, right, version, single quotes, internet, space, setting, single quotes. I believe this is going to be name. Let's see, whoops. Server value 10.1.16.66 over port 8080. We're going to do the same thing PowerShell set item property 
Pep, HKCU, Software, Microsoft, Windows, Current Version, Internet Settings, Name, Proxy, Enable, Value 1. So what this script is going to do is, once the victim downloads the script, it's going to configure our proxy on their web browser. All right, it's going to configure our proxy on their web browser. Browser. So let's make sure that everything is straight. PowerShell set item property dash path HKCU software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, internet settings, name, proxy enable, proxy server, value 10.1.16.66, port 8080, value one. All right, I'm going to hit escape. Then I'm going to hit shift colon. Right, you should see this at the bottom. Now I'm going to type WQ to write and quit. Right, save that file. Cool. Now we're going to start up our web service. All right, so now let's go ahead and start up the web service. We're going to start up Apache 2. So now that is going to be available on the web for people to access. All right, so we're going to go ahead, score that, get our points. All right, just imagine we sent this email to the victim. We're hoping that the, and, and take some time to read this. Go ahead and pause the video to read this email. This is the email that is being sent to the victim, hoping that they click on our link, hoping that they click on this to download this script we just created, and it's gonna set their browser up to be using our proxy. So let's go ahead and switch over to MS10. I'm gonna log in as Jamie. And what we're gonna do is open up Firefox. And we're going to type in this address, right? That's going back to our system, to the script that we just created. And that script is going to be downloaded here. Here it is. We're going to go ahead and execute it. Select OK. Yes, we do want to run it. We do want to run it. Cool. Now it is running on this system. So their, their system should be using our proxy now. So let's open up a new tab. And we want to go to juiceshop.local. All right, I'm gonna dismiss this. What else do they want us to do? Let's go ahead and log in. We're gonna to go to account, we're gonna log in. All of this traffic should be captured by our proxy. We're gonna do that, log in. We're gonna put a password here, log in. We're gonna to try to log in, it fails. All right, it says the login attempt will fail, that's fine. Let's go back to Cali and see if we captured that traffic successfully. Okay, I don't see anything here. So let's go back to MS10 because we should see everything here. I'm going to go back to MS10 resources, MS10. If you're having this issue, that is fine. Let's fix it. We're going to have issues. That is the whole point of the learning process. So what I'm going to do instead of using this, I'm going to use Internet Explorer. Right. And I'm going to use and I'm going to re download that script one more time. From Internet Explorer, I'm going to start it. Here it is, I'm gonna open this file, I'm gonna run it again. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is go back to our website or go back to juiceshop.local. Before we go any further, let's see if it's working. I'm gonna switch over to Cali just to make sure it's working. And it is working, all right, let's go back to MS10. I'm gonna go back to MS10. All right, I just wanted to make sure it's working. Let's go ahead and log in with the same credentials. We know it's gonna fail, that's fine. The email address is gonna be Jamie's email. The password is gonna be password. And we're gonna log in. It fails, that's fine. All right, now we're gonna go back to Cali. All right, we're gonna go back to Cali and we're gonna look for that request that we just did. So really all we gotta do is filter off a post request. Right, but we can also filter off the MIME type. Do that twice. And we're gonna look for the post request to the REST user login. This is what, this is the URL that they sent their credentials to. And we can see those credentials down here, right? And burp up here, you'll see all of the HTTP requests. Get requests, post requests, get requests, you're trying to get a web page. Post requests, you're trying to send data to that web server, right? And down here at the bottom, we can look at the request. We can look at the details of the request. Up here, you have all of the requests. When you select on one, you get the details of it down here. 
You even get the response that the web server gave you down here. The web server said, hey, you gave us the wrong email or password. All right, this is how Burp Suite works. This is how the man in the middle attack works. We have the, the victim. Somehow, some way we get them to connect to our proxy, right? We did it by creating a script and emailing that script over to them. Once they connect to our proxy, anything they do now at olinesecurity.com is going to go through the proxy first. We see that right here. We can analyze it, right? If we had intercept on, we could change this information before it's sent to the web server. All right, let's go to our questions. When the Burt Suite intercept function is turned off, what is the tool doing? Credential hacking, session hijacking, sniffing, right? AITM sniffing, advers adversary. <laughs> I'm saying that wrong. I got to see the word to be able to say adversary. Ad ad adversary. Hold on, let me go see the word. Now I got to say it. Hold on. What is it? What is it? What is it? What? Adversary and ad, ad, adversary. Hold on, now I gotta ask Google how to say that. How do you say this word? Adversary, adversary, adversary. <laughs> ad adversary. adversary. There we go. Adversary. There we go. Learn how to say another word. All right, cool. Oh no, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. All right, let's go back to our question. Adversary. There we go. Adversary, Toby. Adversary. What was the purpose of changing the proxy settings on the victim uh, to route traffic to the attacker's machine? What would stop the victim's credentials from being stolen? Encrypted protocols and not trusting IDS is not going to stop anything. The firewall won't stop the credentials from being stolen. The spam filter won't stop the credentials from being stolen. What is the HTTP method that we use? That was the post request. Which of the following concepts should be added to the user training? Be cautious about instructions provided over the phone. Do not execute scripts offered via email. Yes, do not use company credentials anywhere. Then validate internal system. Yes, uh, do not share your credentials with others. There we go. And that is it. If you all enjoyed this video, especially me trying to say the word adversary, please don't forget to smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for future content. We love what we do here. Tell a friend to tell a friend that O-line security is the place to come and learn, y'all. If you want to learn the fundamentals, start from the beginning, start from scratch, not just try to, to, to cheat your way into the field, but you want to be confident in your skill sets then I highly recommend that you register for our Security Fundamentals Academy. We start from the very beginning. We're going to build your build the necessary skill that you need to solve real world problems from, from wherever you are, even if you have no experience at all. Check out our reviews on Google. Check out our reviews on YouTube. Look at the other students that are doing it. They're coming from nursing backgrounds, construction backgrounds, high school students, football players. We're doing it over here at O-Line Security, right? From wherever you are now, we're gonna teach you those fundamentals to bring you up to a great, great, flexible security professional. All right, that's it, y'all. See you in the next video. Peace.